Hello again, Craig here with another debunking video. Uh, as a lot of you know, I do a lot of debunking, and usually I end up having to debunk the alternative news, because they're the ones that lie even more than the mainstream. However, this video is going to be acceptable and understandable to everybody outside of the radiation topic, is what is I typically have to deal with. I do a lot of debunking, but Fukushima radiation is one of the, I'm one of the few in the whole world that is actually standing up for the truth about that situation. Everybody wants to come and just troll and lie on my channel, I don't allow it. So, uh, this video is going, to, is going to show how, what we call, what Donald Trump calls fake news and how these stories get started. Because there was a story out here, but I'm, this is going to be the first time I've used this OBS uh, studio. But here's, the, here's the, the, the video that I did almost a month ago. And it's titled, The First Fukushima Radiation Death Now Reported. Um, this was almost a month ago. And basically the story goes, uh, some, they finally announced, uh, TEPCO finally announced that we've had the first death due to Fukushima radiation. Uh, some almost eight years after the actual accident. Well, and basically in that story, uh, because I couldn't find the source of the information, everybody pointed to the same spot, but nobody could tell me the source. I asked for my audience for help. Where the source was? Where is this information? I can't find it. And, you know, after thousands of views and after hundreds of comments, not a single person came to this channel to actually fi help me find the actual source of the information. Instead, they just whine and whine and complain how we're all going to die from Fukushima, trolling my channel, which I get all the time. Anytime you debunk something that's in the alt media, you really get a beating, and I, I know that all the time. But the alt media lies all the time, and, but this time, we're going to show you how I came to this conclusion of what I now find, the new information I found, to back this story up, or not back the story up, as, as it may go. Uh, first of all, let's show you something here. This is how I, I usually don't use Google. I, I specifically try not to use Google, but this I like I couldn't do it. Uh, let's let's go with uh, Fukushima death. This is going to be the one I want to use. Uh, basically, we're Fukushima death. Okay, basically, it's going to come up with. Uh, you'll see uh, Japan acknowledges first Fukushima death. Uh, Fukushima death radiation caused workers. So you'll find this information, uh, and you're going to find the dates are always in early September. Okay, so we have all this information showing of this first Fukushima death. Now, I pinned it down. Let's go with uh, tools. I'm going to do advanced search, doing uh, custom range. Uh, we have to go to September. Come on, cooperate here. September 5th. I'm going to go with September 5th, from September 5th to September 5th, and go. And what we're going to find here now is all kinds of first, uh, this, is the, this is the news only on that date. As you see, it's full of information uh, on September 5th about this first worker death due to Fukushima radiation following. And, and this is not from this is not from alt media sites necessarily. If you look, Reuters, New York Times, BBC, NPR, Newsweek, this is not fear porn alternative media. This is the mainstream telling you this. Okay, so where does this come from? Uh, I, I went back one more day. Let's do this now. Tools, let's go with uh, September 4th now. Custom range, one day earlier, September 4th to September 4th would make the day before and hit the go. All right, now, what do we have here? Well, here's one. I have it highlighted already. Japan acknowledges first radiation death uh, outlink to Fukushima. Uh, and, and then you see, according to Reuters. Well, now, what I found was that's the only one on that day. Nobody else reported. You can go through all the pages if you want. There's six pages here to go through. Nobody else on that, that day reported this. So, what does this the site show? All right, let's go here. It's, it's called connectshape.com. Here's the page right here. Connect Shape. Kind of a plain looking website, first of all. Okay, Japan acknowledges first radiation linked out death of Fukushima. And as you can see, September 4th, 2018. All right, this is the first one to report it. I went back days before and the day before and nobody else reported it. it was, this was the first showing that I could find. And here it says, on Wednesday, Japan's Health and Labor Ministry admitted the men. Okay, all right. So on Wednesday, that would place it. Let's go back and do that search again. Uh, where, what page do I want here? Right here. On Wednesday. Okay, so September 4th is where we are now. Let's do a new day. On Wednesday, that would have to put it back here, right? We'd have to put it in uh, September, August of uh, 2018. So let's go. And you will find 
We've had Fukushima and death, but you won't find anything dealing with a Fukushima death due to radiation. Nowhere. Nowhere. And you can go back and look at all seven pages if you like. Nowhere. Okay, so according to that, now according to this article that this first appeared in, this was according to Japan's Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare Ministry. Okay, well, here we go. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, I gotta find, I got a lot of pages here open. Oh, right, here, here we go. This is the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare in Japan. All right, and I do a custom search, which I did here, with Fukushima death, and I even uh, sorted it by date, and no, you won't find anything in here dealing with a death at Fukushima. This is supposedly the government organization that announced the thing. It's not here. I even had this uh, sent to somebody who knows Japanese to have them search for me in case I missed something with all these Japanese characters. I don't know what this says. And they said, no, we couldn't, I couldn't find anything either. So no, okay. The story doesn't appear to be there. What else do we say here? All right. This is the original article, uh, this thing called connectshape.com. All right, so according to the, okay, we couldn't find it there, so they seem to be lying here, or, or it's well hidden, we don't know. Uh, now, according to this, okay, here's, now they're quoting the BBC. The BBC reported shortly after the meltdown, all right? Okay, well, here we go. Let's, go. let's find out what that says. This is from BBC News, September 5th of 2018, the day after that article. Well, wait a minute, what's there? And they just repeat the same thing, basically, that that first article says, but it's dated the day after that this article is quoting it in. September 4th, you link to their article and it goes to September 5th. What about this one? Recording to Reuters, okay, let's look at what Reuters says. Reuters, uh-oh, September 5th, 2018. Same basic story, just copied, essentially, from the first one, which is this story, this is the first one. Their links are faulty. Their links go into the future. If this was really written on September 4th, how do they have links linking to articles on September 5th? Uh, no, sorry. Okay, now, here's something else that I found out. So what is this, Connect Shape? Who the hell are these people? Well, let's go to the who's this, look it up. So who is ConnectShape.com? Well, it shows here, but here's something that, that I found very interesting. Uh, let me find it here. All right. Registration, uh, okay. Creation date. September 3rd of 2018. The day before the story actually was pr printed in this, in this uh, website. And look at this. They're updated. The last day they updated. September 5th of 2018 many months ago oops what gives here all right so was this website set up specifically to print this story let's do another little quick look here connect shape let's go to their main page okay look well they have other stories here amazon neutron star it doesn't seem to be i kind of expected to see all anti-nuke stories or something no it's all kinds of stuff here and i haven't checked out these other stories but i don't have to here's why Go down here. Okay, now if you look at this page, look at the dates on here. Right here is the dates. September 4th, all right? September 4th. These are all September 4th on this page. September 4th, including the one that we're concerned with right here. All right? Now let's look at another page of this website. Page 2. All right? September 4th, September 3rd. September 3rd, September 3rd, and all the way to the bottom, September 3rd, the day that they started this. And there's only two pages. That's it, folks, two pages. You just saw both pages. It started on September 3rd. Their last story ended on September 4th. End of website. A dead-end website. Let's go back again. I'll just, go, I'll just put this, this button here. Right here. First Fukushima radiation death. There it is. September 4th. A made-up fake news story. No, there's there's no other option here. Uh, all their links are faulty. They go to the future. So what happened here on their last who's this look update, last updated date of September 5th, 
after certain all mainstream media websites and and alternative media both came and saw the story and then made the story now all of a sudden they had a wealth of links to put in on september 5th the last day they updated their website so the day after they made this story they went back and created links to make it look more legitimate so anybody else that coming thought the bbc reported it and that reuters reported it where would the reuters quote go there according to reuters in the meantime, here we have Time and NPR, BBC, New York Times, Fox News, Newsweek, Forbes, UPI, Daily Mail. Oh, well, Daily Mail, forget that. Zero Hedging, forget that too. Seattle Times, so many, store, so many uh, organizations picked up on this fake story without checking it out. They just picked it up without going to the actual source. I even emailed these people to try to say, hey, is this story true? Well, I did it in English, and I don't know that I didn't get an answer, and I guess I didn't really expect an answer. And I'm not trying to defend the, the accident there. It's a bad accident that we had there in Fukushima. But I want to see some real news. I don't want to see fake news. And that's exactly what we have here. Uh, I, I would very much like for anybody to show me how I am wrong. Truth is stranger than fiction. Now, I don't doubt that there could, there's going to be a death someday. But I want to know when it's real. I don't want this fake news coming about. Uh, I'm calling these people out. ConnectShape.com, a website started specifically for maybe just this story, or maybe there's some other stories there too. I don't need to investigate the other ones. I know the site is a lying site based on that one story. They just put up a few other cover stories, maybe just copied them from other sites, say according to Reuters, according to BBC, and, and then those were true. But this one seems to be a fake story. And I'd love somebody to prove me otherwise, so comment below. Show me how I'm wrong, and I'll make another updated video showing how I was wrong. If you can find it. The truth is bad enough. We don't need all these lies along with it. It's a bad accident they have over there. But if there's going to really be a death, then frankly, every medical researcher in the world would love to jump all over this story and find out how this person died, how old was he, what was his health condition, what did he die of. There'd be a whole bunch of information that would be needed, but yet there's nothing other than a link to the Japanese Health, Labor, and Welfare Ministry, and they didn't say it. So, somebody please tell me I'm wrong, show me I'm wrong, and we'll make a retraction video, if you think you can do that. But this is a good lesson about all stories. If you really want to know the truth of the story, you're really going to ask, it's a lot of work. But here we have some of the, some of the traditionally most respected news organizations in the world, some of them jumping on this fake story and just republishing it without even checking out any of the sources to see if it was really real. So they fell for it and then all of a sudden everybody else is falling for it. Cascading effect. It runs away wild, then everybody believes. Then then every YouTube tube fear porn channel in the world starts covering it and say how we're all going to die from Fukushima. Check out your stories. Don't believe anything until you research it yourself. Watching fear porn videos on YouTube is not research. Kevin Blanch, uh, Dana Durnford, Milky the Clown or whatever, all these people, they are liars. They are flat out lie to you on a daily basis. They have a clickbait fear porn agenda for money, usually most of them, or else they're just anti-nuke or they have some other agenda. They are lying to you. I have other videos below me. Yeah, below me. I'll link to show you. Uh, some of these other lying websites and, and YouTube channels that are actually continually lying about Fukushima radiation. Thanks everybody for watching. Is everybody dumb?